We gonna jump right into my bullshit, okay? It's too many negative connotations associated with the word hoe. You like that? That's an educated hoe. You like that, didn't you? I know. Go ahead. Because as women, be free. Just because you all think, be free. Listen, they tell us we should be able to count our sexual partners on one hand, don't they? If you can do it tonight, ladies, raise it in the air. Come on. Raise it. Raise it. Raise it, yes. Sister, look, this, keep it up there, boo. This is what I want you to do. Ball it into a fist and punch yourself in the face. I love it. I had to go to my high school reunion and apologize to the girl we called a hoe the whole time. I said, excuse me, sis, you was ahead of your time. But I'm here now, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, cause you know, I don't have time to worry about what people are calling me because I'm already dealing with identity issues. I just found out my mom got all black kids and don't even like black people. And I found out cause I was like, she named me and my sisters Kanisha, Kiana, and Kiara. I said, hold up, bitch, you named us the KKK. <laughs> Me and my mom already have a weird relationship anyway because she drank through her entire pregnancy with me. My first drink was umbilical cord and vodka on the rocks. <laughs> you don't have to feel bad for me, okay? I was born underweight, now I'm overweight. I'm a survivor, calm down. <laughs> on these streets, come on. Come on. Come on. And it's so funny because people always ask me, are you upset with your mother? I'm like, nah, I got her ass back. I made her carry me for 10 months. My original due date was April 4th. I wasn't born till May 10th. <sighs> People always ask me, why do you think you stayed in so long? Like, shit, when have you ever left the party early and they were still serving free drinks? <laughs> I was, this did my umbilical cord, because I couldn't taste it. That's how I got my butt. I sure hope she go to Jack in the Box after this. <laughs> Y'all know about them buttermilks, so I'm be playing. Don't nobody love buttermilk more than my nephew, too. I hate fat kids. Listen, uh. <laughs> my sister will not stop feeding my nephew, and then he does stuff to antagonize me. Like, most kids come home from school and they want to watch SpongeBob. Uh, not him. <laughs> he come home to my house and want to watch Rachel Ray's 30-minute meals <laughs> and convince me he can make them in 15 minutes. <gasps> if they put the Salisbury steak <gasps> on medium-high, <gasps> it'll cook eight minutes faster. And he puts stuff in the microwave and sing and dance away for it to be ready. Have you seen some shit like this? Bing! Popcorn almost ready. Popcorn almost ready. Look at the bag rising. Look at the bag rising. And what did they say growing up? Don't stand in front of the microwave. Why? Because you could get radiation poison. So I felt like I needed to pass this information on to the youth. I said, Cartier? Wait, that's not the punchline. My sister was 13, that's what we came up with. Cartier? <laughs> you could get radiation poisoning. Y'all know he looked at me and said, <gasps> if they didn't want me to see my food cooking, they wouldn't have put a window on it. <laughs> now we both in AA. I'm in AA for my alcoholism. He's in AA. Every time he try to eat something, I gotta go, AA, Cartier, put that shit down. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I got one more thing to say. Listen to this. Before I get out of here, if I can get one woman in here to do this tonight, my life is complete. My journey can end tonight. Ladies, no matter what, please always cheat on your man in case his ass is cheating on you. Have a good night. <laughs>